Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I am collaborating with Jen from Blindly Honestly here on YouTube. We are doing a Harry Potter collab, which is why I'm wearing my Slytherin shirt. We are basically doing a house battle. She is going to do a look for Ravenclaw, and I am going to do a look for Slytherin. She happens to be a Ravenclaw, I happen to be a Slytherin. She was doing makeup looks on her channel surrounding the Hogwarts houses, and the second I saw that, I was like, yes! And I happened, it was funny, because I watched her video and I happened to upload one that was like a Gryffindor look. I know, shame, shame on the Slytherin. What are you gonna do? But I, uh, it was just funny and we started chatting and talking about how it'd be fun to do a collab and here we are. She has so many different makeup videos, tutorials, just different things on her channel and I highly recommend checking out her channel. I am happy that I came across her channel and that we started talking. I've been having a lot of fun kind of chatting about this and kind of razzing her a little bit about being a Ravenclaw. You know, you have to do it. It's part of, it's part of the gig when you're um, um, in different houses from people. <laughs> so I will have her channel and her video linked down below. Today I have a plan for this look, you guys. I have a plan. I usually don't have a plan. We usually go into this going, mm, let's see. But today I'm going to be using the Hasina 2 palette, specifically the greens. I'm planning on using a lot of glitter. We're going to go ahead and attempt this. this this is probably going to be a very extensive look for me. It's going to be something a little different. I'm going to try and challenge myself on this one. So wish me luck and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I primed my eyes with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to help all of the colors show up the way I want them to. And I also have tape on my eyes. I haven't done the tape thing in quite some time. And so I thought it would be a good idea to do it again, especially since I want this to be a very angled look. So, the first shade I'm going to go ahead and dip into is going to be Erin, the green shade right there. And I'm just going to take this on the Bay Joy blender brush here. And I'm gonna start by just kind of packing it over the NYX Jumbo Pencil. One of the reasons I like to use the tape is I can get both eyes to be pretty much the same. I mean, sometimes I still have issues, but for the most part, I can get them to be friends. And yes, I'm taking this look up all the way to my brow. So some of you might be wondering why I gravitate towards Slytherin. I am pretty ambitious. I like to take on way more than I can. I like to kind of follow my own rules. I don't know, there's just, I've gravitated towards Slytherin since the series came out. Um, I just, I don't know. I've always kind of been drawn to, drawn to it. So the next shade I'm actually going to go into is gonna be Moni right here and I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to place Moni right into my crease and slightly above because if I put it right into my crease it's not going to show the way I want it to. Then I'm going to take this brush right here. It's just a blending brush and I'm going to blend out Moni and kind of blend it in with the shade Erin. So now I'm going to take the brush that had the shade Erin on it. I'm going to place a little bit more on there and I'm just going to further blend. Okay. 
I'm gonna take a little bit more of the shade Mani and I'm just going to place it up a little bit more. Then going back in with that brush I used to blend everything together. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm going to place a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to cut my crease. So now that I have my crease cut, I'm actually going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight on half of my eye. I'm actually placing this down because later on I'm going to go back in and loosely pack it with glitter. I'm just going to take this on a packing brush. The next shade I'm going to go into is going to be Mahi Mahia, and I'm just going to place that on the very edge. Okay, I'm going to lightly kind of blend those together. The next thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Glitter Primer here. I'm going to place a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm very lightly going to place this over. Okay, so I actually have two different sizes of the silver. Uh, this one is from Medusa's Makeup and it's called Heavy Metal and it's a much smaller silver. And so I'm going to use this one up towards the inner portion of my eye and then as I get towards that center, I'm gonna go in with this. I also have another one from Medusa's Makeup that's green that's gonna go towards the tail end of my eye and this one is called Key Lime Pie. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of that of this the, I'm just gonna place a little bit of the finer glitter into the cap and I'm going to place that across my eye you don't have to use these specific glitters if you're going to try and recreate this look you could definitely try something different so I'm going to take it on a little brush and I'm just lightly going to cover it just to kind of enhance that silver So once I get it to about right there, I'm gonna go in with the chunkier glitter. I already have some in here, and I just am going to place it right there. And I do want it a little bit over the green. I love glitter. Now I'm going to go in with the green key lime pie shade. Again, just placing a little bit of that into the cap and just lightly placing it over. Also, I highly recommend not doing your base makeup until you have the glitter step done. Okay, because if you can see, I have glitter all over my cheek. 
it's just kind of a hazard of using glitter. Okay, so now that that's done, because I'm going to do this other eye off of camera, I want to show you what I'm going to do to define that crease a little bit more. So I'm going to go into the black shade Ash right here, and I'm going to take this small lip brush from Vander Brushes, and I am going to follow the line that I created with my cut crease. And then what I'm going to do is take this very small kind of blending brush and I'm going to kind of work that out so it's not a harsh line but it still gives some depth. So I did go into this and now that I'm thinking about it, I wanted to get the glitter done, but I think on my other eye, I'm going to do this step first and then do the glitter. But you live and you learn. So I'm quickly going to go off of camera and do my other eye, also my eyeliner and my mascara. I'll be back to do my inner corner, my lower lash line, and my lip. Okay, I am back and I will have everything I used on my face that I did not do on camera listed down below as well as everything that I've used on camera so that you guys can have some idea of where I picked all this stuff up or what I actually used. So what we're going to get to go ahead and do is do my lower lash line, my inner corner highlight, my brow bone highlight, and my lips. Yay! I'm going to use the Koki Professionals Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in Forest Green on my lower lash line. Actually, in my waterline. I did want to mention that doing that step where I put the black kind of in the crease and then blend it out, it is much easier to do without the glitter. I highly recommend doing it that way and not the way that you saw me do this eye. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the shade Shea here and I'm just going to take this. This is the Luxie Flat Definer Brush and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line. Okay, and then one other step that I want to go ahead and do is take a lighter green shade. So I'm going to go in with the shade Erin here, and I'm just going to run that along these. I'm going to run it along my lower lash line to kind of help smoke everything out. I'm going to take that on an angled brush. And I do recommend being careful with this step just because these shadows are a little bit powdery and you could get some fallout like I have here. <laughs> so I'm just going to use a flat brush and kind of blend all of this together. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and do my inner corner highlight. And I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlighting Palette. I'm going to go into the shade Laser. This is also the highlighter I have all over my face in case you guys are curious. And I'm just going to take this little e.l.f. brush here. And I'm going to pop it right here. I like this because it is a much brighter green than what the rest of what I have going on. Of course it would be brighter. It's for highlighting, Danielle. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take the brush with a slightly darker shade on it and blend that out. And as for my brow bone, I'm just going, just going to use this Wet n Wild brush and I'm going into the same highlight. I'm really going to brighten that brow bone up. So 
So for my lipstick, I'm going to take this NYX Liquid Suede in Alien and we're going to apply that. Okay, the next step I'm going to do, just because I want this over, is I'm going to take the shade Laser. I'm going to Oh yeah, I over highlighted it. I don't even care. Well, there you are. Here is my Slytherin look. You guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Please go check out Jen's channel. I will have it linked down below as well as her video. I am super excited to see what she creates for her Ravenclaw look. And you guys will have to let us know which one you prefer. Or even just let us know, like let me know in the comments down below what house you're in. That's always fun for me. I like to find out what house people connect with and things like that. So leave that down below hello. Well, thank you guys again, and I do hope that you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and bye!